Are you having weird neurological symptoms? Well, you're not alone. Allow me to explain. You may have a condition called dysautonomia. Now, this is part two of a five-part series. Now, what I want to go over is a home test that you can do to check to see if you actually have dysautonomia. Now, what you're going to want to buy is this is called an ox meter on Amazon. It's going to measure two measurements. One, it's going to measure your oxygenation in your red blood cells. And the second thing, which is the most important, is it's going to measure your heart rate. Now, this is very, very critical. If you have dysautonomia, you can have irregular heartbeats. So what are you going to do? Is you're going to put this on your finger and you're gonna see what your heart rate is and you can see right there mine is roughly 71 beats per minute now what you can do is you can actually test this at home to see if you have dysautonomia how do we do that one you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna move your head back and forth ten times and then you're gonna check the meter and the meter here should roughly stay the same you can see here my pulse is 67 now if your pulse goes up more than 10 points that tells you that you possibly have dysautonomia now another thing you can do with this meter is you can turn the lights on and off because light causes your brain to fire and then measure your pulse. If your pulse goes up more than 10 beats, that's a sign of dysautonomia. Another thing that you can do is you can have a loud noise, have someone clap behind you really loud. And if your pulse goes up, that's a sign of dysautonomia. These are very simple things that you can do at home. Now, if you think you have dysautonomia, reach out to me and you can do a quiz on my website that will determine how aggressive your dysautonomia is. If you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and share this with a loved one.